sideways. Mm-hmm. What if you hit bottom? It's probably not that deep. But the old trusty man. This thing always ran true. Might have to tune it a bit. I might. Got him. Big one. I don't know yet. No, uh, decent. No, small one. A little deep. Large. Yeah, large mouth. Dink, but homemade Senko calling it fishing the PNW's blue, bluegill magic. We're at a new lake today. We'll see what happens. Now, do we go up to that super deep wood or the wood close to the shore? Hit it all. <sighs> yeah, baby. Big one? Nope. That's probably 25 foot over there, maybe a little deeper. Mm. Oh, weird. How do you hook him in the bottom lip on a drop shot? <laughs> Alright, first drop shot dink probably in 20 something foot of water next to a stick up. Oh my god, that was a bite. Yeah? Fucking one really hard. <laughs> Oh, nothing. these pads up here at the end look dope. Yeah, they do. Oh, dude, is that rock bottom? It feels like my jig is getting caught and stuff. God, that felt like a bite, though. It tugged. Push on. Jake? Yep. Good one? Oh, that's a nice one. Best one so far. Get him! Yeah! Like a two-pounder off this log right here, huh? Yep, on the way down, he just took it. Oh, on the way down? Yep, on the fall. How, did, how can you tell? Did you have your bail engaged? No, my bail was open, and I saw my line jump and do this. It, like, jumped and then went like this, and so I oh, wow. engaged it and set the hook. Dang, on the fall. That's sick. Yeah. Gotta yeah. come up here and show the camera. <laughs> oh yeah. We're fishing offshore pilings. Smoke Josh a jig on the fall. Good one, but it feels good to get a big fish. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, finally. That bite was unmistakable. One tiny tap, and the line went running for deeper water. All right, so Dinker, but my first jig fish today. Half ounce black and blue dirty jigs, no jack pit, pitching jig. And that's my, that's my hand poured beaver right there. Or not hand poured, but my homemade do it molds beaver. Sweet. Alright, been quite a grind. Josh just caught one on a frog. We're at a new lake. It's about 20 degrees colder than it's been. You'd think the fishing would be on, but it, today feels like one of those dog days of summer days. I broke off a freaking toad. It had to be not failed. Rod loaded up. Let's see if we can get any decent ones. All right, it's been a tough day. Didn't swap out my GoPro batteries, got to a new spot. Finally caught the first decent fish of the day, 2.57 pounds. Black and blue half ounce flipping jig with a Berkeley Havoc change up trailer. It's a decent one, let's let it go. Should I at least get a picture of it? 
Alright, let me go. I just got smashed. I, I killed it and let it glide to the side and the bass went BAM! Freaking T-boned it and missed it. That was like a three pounder. Oh, I just missed him. Got him. Oh, that's not the same fish. No. That's not the same fish. No. Totally. Did you see the other one? No, I didn't, but I. that obviously is the same one. No, this is not the same fish. <laughs> nice, dude. Like right away, didn't he? Yeah, right when it hit the water. Hang this on, is dangerous on. waters right here. Dude, you got a good grip on him. Right on, dude. Josh just caught one on a six inch got him coach real gills. Let's look at another two and a half or so. Oh. It's sitting under the dock waiting for Amber. Huh? It's sitting under the dock waiting for something to swim by. No. But it's a fish. Oh, it's a smallmouth. Oh, there he goes. Oh, my thank you. Oh, well. 